What's going on guys? We are back once again with the latest episode of Mayans. Now, again guys, I know I'm late when I've been doing these reviews, but hopefully you guys have been enjoying them. I've been enjoying doing them for you. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Now I'm going to break it up like I normally do. This episode, I'm going to warn you now, I had a lot of death in it. So what was your overall thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. But the entirety of this episode was getting rid of any enemies within the area and a lot of ones had their own issues going on so it really began with letty being shown she was just thrown on the road so we don't know exactly what isaac did to her we got a few ideas i have a few ideas i'm not going to say i'm on a platform because again it could be you know i could get whatever and i'm not going to chance that so but she goes into the Broken Saints, which is that female biker gang, and the leader gives her the three rules of what to do, and somehow or other, she joins willingly slash unwillingly, learns the ropes, and she is taking out her anger, and I guess wants to find a way to get back at Isaac. Now, again, we don't know exactly what he did to her, or this was just a setup to get her in close to somebody to mess up the Mayans organization to get hope back so again we don't know she could be used as a spy or something again we don't know uh easy does show up with everybody when they're doing a drop and lady hides so again kind of makes you wonder the reason why she's hiding and then later on in the episode we find out that obviously the cook that is making the drugs obviously he's staying there and the biker woman gang is being used to make that as well so that's the reason why we're able that the mines have been able to make so much money and all this product within so far and now they also strike a deal with iron war to take over all the prisons all in california and what we see in that is the leader of Iron War tells him, okay, we're willing to do business with you, but we want half. And Easy is kind of not sure if he wants to take the deal. Then he does take the deal. And he doesn't tell no one about it when they do have their meeting. And everyone gets pissed off about it. And they end up agreeing on it due to the fractions of what's going on. Now let's get into the nitty gritty on this. Um... Emily goes to the one that she had killed. Uh, she gives the mom some type of BS story about wanting to uh, make up a monument of him, basically, so she can put in a charity organization. She doesn't buy it. Emily loses her shit and beats the living crap out of this lady where it kills her. She calls the bodyguard. They clean up the body. And then she pretty much goes home and fucks Miguel. And, and that's what really gets me is she absolutely hates this son of a bitch but yet she's wanting to still screw him that's what gets me or she did it out of desperation or she did it to get him off the scent whatever then gives her this bs of oh a lot's happened and all this other kind of stuff so it makes you wonder what exactly her motives are or even if she's really thinking then we go into angel waking up in the morning maverick he's crying he's sick he's running a fever he threw up he can't find Adelita, aka Louisa. Uh, again, I always called her Adelita because, again, that's what uh, you know. We always thought she was, but apparently, Adelita is actually just a uh, like a ghost name, pretty much. Um, I guess a name of hope. And he has no idea where she is. He finds money underneath Maverick's crib. He goes to the store, tries to find something from Maverick. Even goes to his dad's house, and his dad's not saying anything, but he knows obviously something went wrong. And unfortunately it did. Adelita, you know, she killed and stole from the cartel and she brings it to that one girl that we saw in several seasons back, uh, that one uh, Mimi that was that she called Little Mouse and she was willing to give her this money to help her and have her become a leader. She pretty much raised this girl and this girl kills her. And I'm sitting there and I'm going... So this this little bitch, literally the one you raised, now you she kills you. So unfortunately now Angel's not gonna know whether she left, she's alive or dead, and Maverick is gonna be without a mother because of this. And obviously the choices she made. 
and Angel comes home, and we have no idea. He has no idea if Luis is alive or dead. And our boy Bishop screwed up again. He, we all knew he was going to screw the bartender that's working at the uh, bar. We knew it was going to happen. And he gets caught, literally with his pants down. And with the one Maggie that he was trying to get with. And she admitted even to him herself that they screwed it up. And it was a waste of time. And he pretty much is feeling sorry for himself the entire this episode. And with his actions in this episode, I feel like... He's going to be dead weight very much at this point. I feel like Bishop's been dead weight for a couple seasons now. And either I think he's either going to catch a bullet or he's going to be demoted even more further now. I don't think he's going to be VP for very much longer. I think either Hank or possibly Angel may take VP here soon. I, I don't know. Depends on uh, how easy thinks Angel's going to do even as VP. Uh, especially with Angel being very distant to the club as of late. And... We even see where the one that we got to see uh, the prospect trying to get with, he finally made his move. Like, hey, you know, let's chill out. Let's be friends. Let's do this. Takes her out in the middle of nowhere. They start talking, and he shoots her. And uh, we do see that, and Hank and him burn the body. And we can see one of the biggest things as well. Guys, I had a feeling on this. We knew this was going to happen. Uh, Creeper gets out of solitary confinement. And he's going to go try to call Hank. And what happens is right when they're going into their, have their meeting, we see where Creeper, right before he tries to tell Hank about Easy, he gets stabbed multiple times in jail. So that is the third death that we had. Or actually, no, the fourth death. Because we had the old woman, we had Creeper, we had Louisa, and also, of course, the one girl, Jess. So now, four deaths so far. And I already know Easy set this up. We all know Easy more likely set this up so the secret could be buried. Now, the only ones that now know about this is the one that Creeper was sleeping with. And Creeper, Creeper's dead. And the mother, obviously, with what he did to uh, killing his second cousin. Now, we're going to get something else here, too. Right at the very end of this episode, we see where ones from Mayan show up from the northern side. Getting pissed off that, you know, Easy and Angel killed Happy. Now, they show them that, hey, you know, we have the money. We're going to have the entire northern under our control get with it and this is what we're gonna do and what basically happens is easy you know acting normal all this and that and then right when they move around the one that was the leader up there gets killed by another mine in there the one that was the son of the man he killed and bishop gets up and he says damn it and he shoots cvp and that's how it ends and now we're having more of a war on our hands. So right now it was basically cleaning up any kind of mess that we were going to be dealing with. With any type of traitor or rat, possible rat, or a uh, possible issue. And we all knew this was going to happen. We knew there was going to be a possible uh, death coming up. There was multiple deaths in this episode. I was beyond shocked we had six deaths in this episode. What makes me wonder is who's next? Who's next? Is anyone safe? Um, I don't think so. I don't think anyone's safe. Uh, like I said, I've, I've had my feelings on this. I think Easy's either going to end up back in jail or I think he's going to die. Uh, if he doesn't do either, I'll be shot. Um, I think Hank and Angel and Gilly may go straight possibly at some point. Don't know when or how, but I think they're going to, obviously for their own reasons. Uh, Gilly, obviously for his son, Angel for his son and his sanity, and then also, of course, for uh, you know Hank because of Nails slash his mom, and I think that may happen, and also with him being injured. But I think Angel may go back to his old ways very soon due to what has happened now with Lisa. I think that 
knowing about her death or going to learn about her death is really going to put him in an unknown perspective of his eyes. You know, he had this family that he finally, you know, wanted at some point, and now it's going to be taken away from him yet again. So it's kind of wondering what is he going to do when he finds out that she's dead and who's responsible? Is he going to go after this girl that killed her or is he going to blame somebody else? And how's it going to be explained about Creeper's death? How's it going to be explained about these other minds death? What What's going to happen? So let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Was it good? Was it bad? Was it interesting? Was it kind of slow? Were you guys expecting this much death? What was your overall predictions of this episode? Let me know down in the comments down below. We'll be talking to you guys more about it next week. Let's get keep going. Let's keep strong. Mine's still going strong. And let's just enjoy it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.